because I like talking about religion and me, I'm non-denominational. Uh, so I don't put a tag on Christian, Catholic, or whatever. I like all religions. I mean, you know, I've been around the world about 500 times. So I like all religions because really they all, besides atheists, they, you know, it's still all the same God. They just have different views on the path to get to him. Uh, but the things I like about the, you know, the Torah, the Quran, the Bible, they all teach financial facts that can get people wealthy. People want to, I mean, me, I grew up in a, a Baptist, you know, down home South Baptist church and it's, oh, be humble. Oh no, you shouldn't have money. I, I. But the Bible talk about money. The Bible, the number one thing the Bible talks about is heaven salvation. The second most talked about topic in the Bible is finances. But it seemed like everybody skip over the finances part and it goes, oh, you should be humble. You should be, you should be this, you should be this. But the Bible talk about money. They talk about the borrower slave to the lender. They talk about uh, harvesting and making it multiply. Sowing a seed and making it multiply. Sowing a seed like, hey, put money in an investment or put money in a savings account, let it let it duplicate, compound interest, letting the harvest to be a bigger multiplier. It talks about all these things in finance, but everybody just be scared to talk about it. Or they just don't want to do it because they say, oh, in vain, oh, nobody can tell me what to do with my money. So we just gonna skip over the finances part of the Bible. We just gonna get back to the get back to the uh be meek and humble. So let me go blow my money. And that's the real reason why nobody want to be questioned, especially people with little information want to be questioned. I mean, I know you got people in your family and I let you speak on it. Like they've been the matriarch or they've been the person when you ask questions about finance, they always go to these people. But then when you now you more financial savvy, go question them. Now there's a problem. So I'll let you speak. on. <laughs> yeah, I was uh, I was talking to a cousin about this. Uh, the other day how oh, um everyone in my family can see what I'm doing and what I've accomplished but they still go to the same people in the family that uh, for for uh, financial advice that continue to lead them in the wrong path and it's like instead of just coming to me which I could help them but they look at my age or whatever and they think like oh he's just young and what I get a lot too is like he's just lucky or um he just like i don't know like i i hear a lot like oh he's just always got this going for him like i didn't put in any work to get it um but they and they always just want to go to like the like that old school mentality of like oh what's your position at work that implies that uh you know about money and things like that like um so I, I mean, I do see that. And it's, you know, to me, it's like, what are you actually doing? What is your financial, your personal financial situation? And does that make sense about your finances? Like, so I'm not going to go to someone who is a CEO at Morgan Stanley. Or, I, I mean, that's probably a bad example. But I'm just saying, as an example, if they're a CEO at a financial institution, but they're broke, then what, like, that makes no sense. So why would I go to you just because of your title? Um, it, you know, I'd rather go to the janitor who has 20 rental properties, you know, so. Um, but yeah, I, I I see that every day with my family. And I mean, what I see too a lot with, and I wanted to um, go off with something you said earlier was like with, um, in my family too, like the younger generation, like say my generation in my family, they still depend on their parents to help them in some aspect financially. They're not completely independent from that. For example, like I don't go to my parents for any financial advice or, um, like any tips on like, oh, I have to do this, like I have to transfer money or I have to do a wire transfer um, at the bank. How do I do that? You know, like like when I was buying 
the 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 first property like i i never done a wire transfer i had done checks before but i was like let me just go to the bank and say hey i need a wire transfer and see what i gotta do you know so it was like but i see a lot of like say cousins or whatever that are like oh can you go with me i don't know what i'm doing and they don't like take that initiative to just like just do it it's not a big deal you know and um I, uh, you know, they, they, or like, even with, uh, buying a house, they, they may ask like, oh, can you go with me to talk to the builder or talk to, um, whoever that they want to get the house from? They, they, they just, they don't try to be independent. And I think if you raise a generation like that, when the older generation dies off, what are they going to, what are they going to do as far as being independent? And and I agree with that a hundred percent. That's my favorite word. I agree with that a hundred percent. Uh, but but yeah, that's that's what it is. I mean, it goes to the adage: you teach a man how to fish, he eats forever. You teach you give a man a fish, he eats for a day. I said it backwards, but y'all get the gist of it. Um, but that's that's key. And again, that's why I talk to my my kid every day. If my son asks me anything about anything, if he say. Daddy, how much money you got? I tell him. I mean, do I want him going to school saying, oh, my daddy has this much money or we have this much money? No, because not because I'm worried about somebody robbing him. It is nefarious people out there that could do something to him because he's unprotected at school. But I'm not going to shield my kid from finance, even if I'm busted and broke. My mom never, never, swayed away from the finances for me. I mean, my mom didn't do everything right when it came to the financial situations, but I it gave me the ability to learn from it because if the only financial education I get is from school, then I'm screwed. Trust me, I went to school. I have degrees in finance. Finance doesn't teach you anything about personal finance. They teach you how to work for somebody in the financial sector about personal finance. I have a, ma a bachelor's degree in finance. And in the whole four years in finance, we talked about personal finance for about a 30 minute to an hour block in four years. That's it. Everything else is teaching you how to work for somebody else. So parents out here believing that their kid is going to learn everything they need to know in K through 12, or even if they get a, a, a bachelor's degree, they're sadly mistaken. And my goal is, my kid goes to school to learn ABCs, how to read, write, and do math. I don't, I don't care about trigonometry. I don't care about calculus. I don't care about that. Because finance is simple: add, subtract, multiply, divide. That's it. Don't just don't. That is what I care about. That the school will give to my kid when it comes to finances and how to operate in this landscape. That's my job. And that should be every parent's job to be the one that's teaching their, their kids that. But if you look at it, school is six hours, eight hours a day for most kids. And then they come home, they may do homework, maybe not. They might do homework in school. And then they play the video games, eat dinner, go to bed. Rinse and repeat over and over again. Weekend come, you know, might do some fun activities and do it over again. Well, my house, no. Dinner table, anytime. If a topic of finance come, I don't go in the room and tell and talk to my wife and be like, oh, well, this is what's going on with the rental property. I say it in front of my kid. If he got questions, I tell him. When we did close on the property last Friday, my son is the first one to talk to about it. I mean, yeah, my wife knows what's going on, but my son is the first person to talk to about it. Because I want to know, let him know what's going on. Do he understand most of it at nine years old? No. But I want finance to be a normal conversation. It shouldn't be a, hey, can we talk about this? Can you teach me how to do this? I mean, it is more normal than let's talk about what's going on on TV shows, what's going on on TikTok, Snapbook, and all that other stuff that's out there. That's how the landscape of my family is, is because I don't want to have a repeat of the generations before me where nobody knows anything. Nobody knows the process of how to buy a house. Nobody knows the process of when it's time to update rental properties and 
and do that and refurbish properties and stuff like that. All this information is clearly shared and talked about all the time. It's not a, I mean, I don't even care if people over with. We are going to talk about politics, religion. That's what I'm going to talk about. We're going to talk about politics, religion, and finance. If they don't like it, don't come over. I'm fine with that. But I'm not going to change the dynamic of my house for anybody. And I'm not saying it to be an asshole, but I'm saying it because these are the important things that's constructing the, and I'm talking about the United States. These are the important things that's constructing the world today. And if I'm not on the forefront of trying to make sure that we have a nucleus of what the game plan is for my family. I'm not about to let people outside my household dictate what's what we believe in and what we're going to do and how we're going to do it. And if that's the case, why the hell have a kid? Why the hell have a family? You just wait till the social the next social media topic come up or the next thing that shows up on CNN or Fox News show up and they say, hey, this is what we're going to do. That's not how that's not how nobody should operate, but that's how most of the world is. But I'm done. I'm going to get off my soapbox. All right, guys, with all that being said, uh, if you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe, uh, leave a comment down below, share, and we'll see you guys in the next video.